I'd feel a lot more confident about things if I knew what the device was and exactly what you intend to do with it. You mean they didn't tell you? <laughs> Not surprising, I suppose, given how much Father enjoys his little secrets. I assume you've noticed how his harvesters like to repurpose existing technology? If you mean steal it from other people and sell it to new customers, then yeah, I noticed. Not necessarily a practice I approve of, but not everything gets resold. Sometimes it is taken apart and reassembled into something more useful. A handheld version, for instance, that doesn't need to be implanted in the human body to work. You're still not telling me what that thing is. Easier if I just show you. So, shall we leave? Yeah, but stick close. Your father and I have some unfinished business to take care of, and it all goes to shit if I don't get you back to him in one piece. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure father sticks to his promise. Maybe even get him to throw in a little extra. But as grateful as I am for your assistance, from here on in, it's every man for himself. See you later. Tries again.
Sir, a minute of your time. I'm mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends, SK. I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. Being impolite. Wing Hui. I, I can see that. What I really meant to ask is how do you know who I am? Yes, yes. Excuse me for nervous. Bell Tower a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were, it occurred to me that you exactly the person I knew. For what, exactly? Tread carefully, dog, because I'm about one step away from losing patience here. No, please, you misunderstand. I only to talk to you about something, and it is not an easy subject to discuss, as it is a rather sensitive... Truly, Miss Jensen, I would never ask anyone to do something at their will. On that, have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. I understand, Doc. You can count on my discretion. I appreciate it, Mr. Jensen. Obviously, you are familiar with Bell Tower and the role they have in this city. What you may not be familiar with, however, is the fact that sometimes they contract limb doctors, like myself, to work on special projects. Projects? What you American operations. Some of the best soldiers and may super augmented with experimental top-secret hardware. Not to sound too jaded, Doc. But none of that comes as a big stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes, and and mine have both been guilty, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private, a private army. Sail to the highest bidder. Stopping Bell Tower, then? Much as I might hate them right now, only one man. Oh, it is not all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Zelazny. He was implanted with experimental hardware 
and to an extent that is beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations for the Chinese and others. Like the type of man you don't want to see control. Precisely. Yet, about a month ago, I heard rumors that Mr. Zelazny and part of his unit had gone rogue. And two weeks later, a city official was killed in a perfectly staged operation. I am certain of them. And, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me himself. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat shop near Pangdang Road in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs, a servo replacement. I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. I'll do what I can. I am sure you are up to the task. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. And if things do turn south terminated, you are quite a good candidate to get it done. Or at least survive. Nia, can't you all know? 